<laughs> okay. I've, I've had this idea for a couple of days. Uh, I call it Blue Eye in the Brown Eye. <laughs> Brent, Brent Frazier <laughs> is a high-priced lawyer called Frendon Brazier. He he is in a small town, but he is successful getting paedophiles off the hook uh, for doing bad things. There is one scene when a woman is, is, well, a girl, essentially, is in the courtroom testifying against a fat man with glasses. Not me, another fat man with glasses. I would probably get that Dennis Nedry guy to do it. And while she's talking... Brent, friend and Brazier sees the man like touching himself under the table in the descendant box and he brings him out and he's like hey you why'd you do that that's bad I'm not going to defend you because you are an actual pedophile and he's like you can't do that you idiot and it's like okay well I better defend you then and he, he goes back into the courtroom and he's like hey you girl you are lying about this pedophile for saying he touched you. And then the, the girl is like, I am lying, actually. I'm sorry. And she cries. And the judge bangs his gavel and says, this girl will go to prison for a hundred years while the pedophile is let off. <laughs> you win it. Is he like Boss Ness? You it just... is Boss Ness. <laughs> <laughs> the right honorable judge Boss Ness. De Gunga, De Gunga. Says you've done it again, friend and brazier. You are the best one. Bang, bang, bang for the gavel. And friend and brazier says, I am the best liar. I'm going to go into the bathroom and look at the mirror and go and wink at myself. And he does that. And then he goes back home to his wife, Deborah Messing, and she's like, oh, you have done well for lawyering. And he's like, yeah, I know I did. And then he gets a knock on the door. And the door opens, and it's Al Pacino, uh, who is who playing the character of a high-priced New York lawyer called Al Pacinko. And he goes, hoo-ha! You're going to go to... <laughs> hoo-ha! You're going to go to... I can't do him at all. I can't even half do him. Like, oh. You're going to go to... No, it's not good. Yeah. Hoo-ha! <laughs> You're going to go to New York! Hey, Tom! You're waking up my boy! He is now also Spike from Tom and Jerry. You're gonna go to New York and be a lawyer with that red-haired guy from Stay Tuned who turned out to be a pedophile. What? Who's that? Jeffrey Jones? Is he in Stay Tuned? I can't remember. <laughs> this is... It, I should point out this is Al Pacino, not Willem Dafoe, even though the voices I do for them are very hard to tell apart. I said, no, the, the, your Pacino's more breathy. It's good. Yeah, you, you might also think this is just Devil's Advocate, but it's not. That's okay, I'm waiting for the point where it's not. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's not. Okay. So anyway, Friend of Brazier and Mebra Dessing go to Unork <laughs> to start their new lawyering job. And Al Pacino's like, oh, whoa. Don't worry about anything that might happen to you that's weird. It's not. And he just goes away. He grows wings and flies to the moon. And at that moment, Brendan Fraser says, Oh my God, i got an itch in my asshole. Why is it itching so bad? It's like really raw. And he gets a mirror and looks, like holds it round, a system of mirrors, and looks round and just pulls his ass cheeks apart. And there's a little blue eye inside his arsehole. Whoa. And it winks with a squelch and just says, Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's Willem Dafoe's voice yeah, in yeah. his ass. And it's like, Oh my God, I can't believe this has happened to me. I'm going to go get a doctor immediately. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway... <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, that's how we're. That's uh, how we're. Uh, I'm gonna go get a doctor. See, so he rings up the doctor and says, "Doctor, come over, please." And uh, the doctor arrives. Obviously, Val Kilmer. And yeah, he's the new one now. And <laughs> Val Kilmer comes round and says, "Hello, I'm Val Kilmer, the doctor. I'd like to look inside your asshole, please." 
and he's like, I never said anything was in my asshole. I said, oh, it is in your asshole. Well, that's a jolly good coincidence. Bend over and get get a good old look up, you goosey shoot, shall we? And he pulls his ass cheeks apart, and the eye is in there and says, hello, doctor. That's so scary. Why does it talk? It doesn't have a mouth, but you hear sounds, and you just see a blue eye. God <laughs> damn it. <It's> scary. <laughs> At that point, a purple laser beam flies out of the eye and goes into Val Kilmer's eye. And Val Kilmer's like, oh, my goodness! I I can't believe what is happening to me. This is strange. And that goes on for a bit, about 15 minutes of just just a laser in Val Kilmer's eye coming out of Brendan Fraser's ass while he's going, oh, oh, no! Rest assured, this is a fabulous phenomenon. And at that point, the eye in Brendan Fraser's ass blinks closed, and Brow Kilmer is released from the spell, and he says, Oh, my word! I saw things! Terrible things! I saw my own death! I saw a tram hurtling towards me, and it hit me! And just as it hit me, I was released! And Brendan Fraser says, shut up, you idiot. That's not happening. <laughs> My <laughs> asshole can't tell the future. How is he so sure? Uh, what, what, uh, why is he so nonchalant about this phenomena with the, his... Uh, can he poop n- anymore? Is he just blocked up by the blue eye? Um, you're asking a lot of questions. I'm the, very interested in this. The answer to it all is dramatic tension. <laughs> Because the very next day, Val Kilmer's crossing the street, just going, oh, I was the Batman, and a tram hits him, and he is dead. And oh. Bren- Brendan... Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Brendan Fraser's like, oh my god, hey? It's, <laughs> this is just like Devil's Advocate, and also now a bit of Final Destination and or The Ring. More like the ass thing. <laughs> Does he, like, wink at the camera after saying that? Yeah. Just, like, little aside to the audience? Yeah. There's a knock at the door, and Danny DeVito mm. comes in. Mm. I'm Danny DeVito. I think that you've got a magic ass. I'd like to have a look at it, please. <laughs> and then I say, stop thing, TV's Danny DeVito. I'm going to pull down my pants and pull my ass cheeks apart, and you can have a look at the big old blue eye in my ass. So he does that, Brendan, um, Danny DeVito looks inside the arse, and the purple laser beam comes out, hits Danny DeVito in the eye, and he's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he's happy? Uh, just just mesmerized. It's like and the blue, it's like the dark crystal a little bit. A bit like the dark crystal. Yeah, scary. With scary as part. With less puppets. I don't know why it's so much easier to visualize a purple laser coming out of Brendan Fraser's ass and into Danny DeVito's eye. But this is totally believable. I'm in it. I can visualize it. I can see it. <laughs> wow. Mesmerize me. <laughs> so for 15 minutes, your Danny DeVito's going, oh, oh, like that. Uh, spell breaks, you know, the eye blinks. And the eye says, well, I hope you enjoy dying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And, and um, Brendan Fraser says, he's not going to enjoy dying because my ass can't see the future. He <laughs> die. And Danny Fino says, I saw a garden shears. This is amazing. I'm going to phone the paper. <laughs> Goes out to phone the paper, but then there's Weird Al Yankovic with garden shears and says, I'm going to cut your fucking head off. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, dick. Where, what? Where did he come from? His um, head off, and his head oh. falls away, just rolling around, just going, oh, 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 as it rolls away. And then Weird Al Yankovic winks at the camera and says, he didn't expect that! Hoo <laughs> Rats wings and flies to the moon. <laughs> Whoa. How and, fast does it take to get to the moon? A minute. And... <laughs> After five days and five more celebrities die, <laughs> in various circumstances, uh, you know, one, um, I don't know, uh, William Shatner falls off a ladder into a bucket of alligators. Steve Buscemi is wrongly accused of being the Black Dahlia killer and he's murdered in prison. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and 
happens. And eventually, uh, Brendan Fraser says, Wow, I've come to a conclusion. What if my ass can tell the future? And it predicts people's deaths when they look up my jungus hole. Is he just alone in a room? Yep. Yep. (laughs) And when he says that, this laughter coming from his arms. Just... (laughs) You just broke the curse, you idiot! You stupid idiot! The curse of the ass-eye lawyer, (laughs) ass-eye! What the... What the fuck is that? Somebody... Do you hear it, Conrad? Oh, no. no. I think it's it's got to be me again. Yeah, I think so. We'll better get this done quickly. I'm right near the end. Okay. The curse is the (laughs) shot lawyer from the south will come. You, Nork, have a really itchy eye in his ass. We'll be with him forever. Unless, unless he realizes that something's wrong with that situation. It was a fiendish scheme by old wizards back in the day. But now... And then, the arse starts to split and a big light spills out of it and these two hands come out of his arse and pull them <sighs> apart. Well, Brendan Fraser's like, Ah, my fucking ass! Oh my god! And, and William Defoe's voice just says, Yes! And now... And his head comes out and he's got this weird hat on that's like got two furry points on it and a really big collar, right? And his eyes are sellotaped um, back a bit, but it's not racist, don't worry. And he's got a magic staff and he says, And now, after a thousand years, I'm free! Now we conquer Earth! <laughs> he's a fucking repulsor! But Willem Dafoe playing it. And Brent Frazier said, but I thought we were on Earth, because Willem Dafoe was pointing up to the sky, and there's Earth up there. He says, that's the twist of it, you prick! It's an even Earth! Where have they been this whole time? It's not explained, because by that time the credits are rolling, and <laughs> going, go, go, Power Rangers! <laughs> <laughs> Are the uh, credits going really fast over that slow tune? Power Ranger Soul, yes. That was a great idea, Jim. Did you like him? Yeah, I would totally watch that movie. It's pretty, pretty stunning. I was stunned. It's it's shocking. Mm. The next human centipede. <laughs> I hope so. I hope that that happens instead of another human centipede. Yeah, it should be. Probably not. Now Tom Six and see if he's interested in directing. 